This nigga's a bitch. This nigga's a bitch. You are mad cops. You are mad cops. You are mad cops. Criminal courthouses in New York City have been the site of many disasters and violent incidents between rival gang members in the past years. In 2018, a war between two gangs, known as Wu and Cho, was raging in the borough of Brooklyn. At around this same time, New York City law enforcement was becoming perturbed by the new trend of social media videos of gang members being caught, lacking, by rivals. Drop the Wu, bro. Throw the Cho, nigga. Cho, nigga, not hats, nigga, Cho, nigga. Big Cho cake! Why have Big Cheek cake? Why have Lucky Singer running? Both the Woos and Cho's were gaining notoriety for videos their members produced where they caught a gang member quote-unquote, lacking, and violently assaulted, humiliated or in some cases, even killed them. He sleep. He sleep. He sleep. He's... The Cho gang decided to try and catch two Wu gang members lacking in particular. These were the rising rap artists Anthony Henry, also known as Famo Banga, and Jaquan Wise, who went by the name OMB JD. The Cho members got information about the dates they were set to appear in court regarding ongoing criminal cases they had, and arrived en masse at the Brooklyn Criminal Court on 320 J Street to harass them. Cho members videoed threats at the courthouse against Famo Banga. Standing by the guards. Little ass Little Famo. Look at him. Look at him, Famo. Hey, look, he won't move from the guards. Banga withstood the threats, and even turned the tables at one point by finding a rival gang member who happened to have a court date at the same time as him and punching him in the face repeatedly. He said he not, he said he not moving from me, y'all. He said that he going to every, every room I go to, yeah. Look, if he leaves here, don't run. I'm gonna spank him. I shot at him. Blood on my rock. I shot at him. I shot at him, y'all. I shot at him. Boom, that boom, 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 boom. And he's smiling in my face. Y'all really think I take him serious? Fuck your dead man. Fuck your dead man. Say fuck my dead man, and I'm gonna punch you in your face right now. Fuck your dead man. Somehow, neither were arrested. Despite this, the Cho gang members continued their harassment on Wu member Jaquan Wise, also known as JD. What's up? What's up, JD? Pull up! Pull up! Pull up! Smoking Ike, no, what's up? Pull up! Pull up! You smoking Ike, pull up! Why are you standing by the cup? Why you standing by the cup? I'm standing by the cup! Let's get it stacking, nigga. What's up, nigga? What's up, nigga? What, nigga? You standing by the cup, nigga? You pussy, nigga. Know my body, nigga. After being harassed so many times, he was tired of it, and on his next court date on July 13, JD brought along four bodyguards. These bodyguards included gang members Equan Ware, Jaheem Ware, and Malik Himes, as well as one other unknown individual. After exiting the Brooklyn Criminal Court, the coast seemed clear, and JD's group was able to walk a short distance to the Fulton Mall. However, in front of the mall, they saw the rival Cho members who had presumably been partaking in the harassment. They got into an altercation, and Equan Ware pulled out a handgun and fired it repeatedly. Maurice and Christine police are still investigating this, and actually right behind me here on the ground, you can see what appears to be one of the shell casings that police have now marked as evidence in this case. This happened just before 2 o'clock this afternoon, and two innocent people were hurt. I just heard uh, some pat, 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 gunfire in the crowd right down there. It ran down here. Next thing you know, dude pulls out and started shooting. And I limped my behind across the street. They could have been me. 
and the innocent people is getting shot and it just don't make no sense. Ware hit one Cho member in the hand, but also hit two innocent civilians, including a woman who had just left a job interview. JD and his bodyguards fled, eventually meeting up with Taekwon Ellison, another Wu member. Ellison would go on to have his own incident at the Brooklyn Criminal Court where he walked out while still in handcuffs after being arrested for a robbery in Coney Island. The NYPD is looking for a prisoner who escaped while handcuffed. This is 20-year-old Taekwon Ellison. Police say he escaped Monday morning while officers were taking him from Brooklyn Criminal Court to Central Booking, and he was last seen running on State Street. Police say Ellison had been arrested for robbery and burglary. He casually fled police custody, and it would take three weeks for him to be captured again. Finally, almost two years after those courthouse battles, the Brooklyn DA brought down the hammer. 34 members of both the Woos and Chos were indicted and arrested on various gang conspiracy charges relating to multiple incidents. Equan Ware, who, allegedly, fired the shots near the courthouse in July of 2018, became a fugitive, and the FBI would have to get involved to capture him. Taekwon Ellison would eventually plead guilty to offenses relating to human trafficking of a minor. The majority of the remaining gang members are awaiting trial. Many have been released as of 2022.